this. Uh, House GOP bill would give benefits to Americans in the Israeli army. The legislation would grant IDF soldiers the same protections as U.S. military personnel while they're on active duty. Hey, but what about American idiots fighting in Ukraine? <laughs> Will they receive? <laughs> Yo, man, I love, 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 love Jimmy Dore. I, I hate that he calls them American idiots fighting in Ukraine because these people, I, it's all jokes aside, and I, and I know that he's a comedian, so he comes straight with the bang immediately. And he's saying what needs to be said. So he's calling them idiots, but a lot of people enlist in uh, the army for many reasons. And shout out to them. It's a shame the establishment uses them in the most horrible way. I mean, we have footage of Wesley Clark who has said that we, you know, we went after Iraq because uh, there were people who thought that we had a great army. So we're going to change governments and everything has to look like a nail to a hammer. Anyway, so this is Jimmy Dore talking about, you know, <laughs> well, you see it. <laughs> he benefits? How about that? I don't know. Is this amazing? Yeah. GOP, baby. Huh? F the Americans living under bridges. They had their chance. Now it's the it's a foreign country's turn. <laughs> ah. And so real quick, you guys see the like and subscribe on Jimmy Dore's channel. You could do that for him. But if you guys want to please uh, hit the like and subscribe button for me, too, as well on Bring the Asteroid. And please hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. That's what this is. That's right. Your tax dollars not only fund the weapons, but the retirement funds for all the genocidal psychopathic snipers who like killing moms because they're slower. All right, here's a little bit of the story. A bill introduced in the House by Representative Guy Reschenthaler, oh boy, and Max Miller <laughs> would extend certain benefits for Americans serving in the U.S. military to American citizens in the Israeli military. Why do we have American citizens in the Israeli military? Well, let's talk about it. There's something called dual citizenship. There's something called a right to return. Uh, Jewish people can go back to Israel uh, just as long as they prove. You know, I don't think they have to really like prove that they're Jewish, but... Anyway, they can go ahead and go fight an Israeli army. Um, I have a serious problem with that. I do. This whole ally thing, uh, I'm not pussyfooting around it anymore. This feels weird. <laughs> it does. Like, it does, man. I live here, bro. Like, I'm sorry. And look, and here's the thing. I'm of Haitian descent. If you, if, well, Haiti doesn't have an army. But I'm America first. If you ever hear me trying to put Haiti before America, Again, it's not, it would not, don't watch the channel. You understand me? That's seriously, because as much as I feel bad, as because I know what the establishment has done in many other countries, including Haiti, I feel bad, but I'm like, we cannot take any Haitian refugees. We can't take any more people. By the way, we just, there's a, this has, this is a, you know, off topic, but since we're bringing up Haiti, Mexico's elected a new president who is of um, Israeli type of descent, um, Jewish. And well, she's all about immigration. There's a lot of Haitians in Mexico waiting to come here. Okay. Things you need to know, things that you're not going to hear from conservative media, but, and things that, <laughs> look at this, Republicans are writing, this is a direct disrespect to the American citizen. We have military men, like you said, veterans that are sleeping under bridges. If we had the real programs for them, they should get top-notch service, top-notch service. And by the way, when you hear this is going to extend to Americans serving in the U.S. military or whatever, in the Israeli army, but it had to be American citizens, mm, I highly doubt that it would just be the Americans receiving the benefits. They'll write this thing with some sort of loophole. I should have pulled up the bill. I should have pulled it up, the legislation that is going to make it where somehow everybody can get the benefits, okay? Crazy. The legislation introduced on May 17th would give Americans in the Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, protections under the Service Member Civil Relief Act and Uniformed Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act, or the SCRA protects U.S. service members from civil legal actions while they're on active duty and for up to a year after. So if you go commit crimes, that's what they're saying. You can't 
Is that what oh, this is? That's what this is. That is that what for? this is? Is that what civil legal actions uh, while they're on active duty? Is that what this when is? The crimes come out like they did with the other thing. Uh, is that what that is? Uh, yes. Okay. The uh, this act protects the civilian employment of active and reserve military personnel when the, so they also can't lose their jobs. So you know if you get called up for duty and you're an American, you don't you they, you can't lose your job for that. So they're saying if you're an American and you go fight for Israel, you, you can't lose your job. The, the, your, your employer can't get rid of you. Was that old man that would try to give you a guilt trip like it's a veteran of your country that fought yeah. in Israel? Uh, over 20,000 American citizens are currently defending Israel. Really? They're risking their lives for the betterment of our ally. Said Did you? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I mean, I guess because they're in the IDF. Okay. Whatever. But that's their choice. Stay there. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, for real. Because this is not reported to us. And we are going to be <laughs> thrusted into a problem in the Middle East faster than we'll know what to do with ourselves. The only reason why, and I'm telling you this, the only reason why we are not, you don't hear it talked about in such a hot fashion is because it is election season. I'm not going to lie to you. I am a person, I'm still someone who wants to vote for Donald Trump because of domestic reasons. But I do have my concerns with his loyalty to Israel. Yeah, I do. Because I, I know the forces that take over our country. I know the forces that have taken over our country. I, listen, okay? These people answer to lobbyists, all right? Look, I mean, we have the evidence, okay? So, guys, if you know, I mean, at this point, drop a comment if you think that I'm saying anything that's crazy. Please do. By the way, like I said in the last video, um, you know, I do have the other account, That Girl Casey, that is on um, YouTube. And on Thursday, I'm going to go live about this nation. Now, at 8 o'clock p.m. So look out for that. Um, but anyway. <sighs> Sometimes, listen, man, because we've been discussing this, but the thing is that a lot of what's happening to our country, I'm seeing it happen under the guise of anti-Semitism. And so sometimes I don't know where the country ends and where another nation begins. Or Ukraine. But I don't talk you, something about Ukraine with this chant with like this platform, I, and I'm just gonna leave it there. That this Russian chowler he said in a statement, Are you kidding me? Wow, we're even funding private military contractors like mercenaries. That's what we're doing. Ooh, we always are. I mean, look, it's all the main thing I didn't realize when I was first looking at this, Jimmy, was the thing about the protection from uh, legal action. Yeah, I didn't realize how central that is because look, it's all the same money. Yeah. <laughs> like, shouldn't israel be paying for this because it's just our money anyway yeah it's it's like the same as like hey these are chucky e. cheese tokens we give out they have to spend them here Don't yeah worry about that's it. right yeah the washington post reported in february that an S by the way kurt mexiger is jewish okay so like the, and it's and i find it very admirable when like people can just speak in reality without having to be like oh my identity my identity like seriously and i'm a black woman saying this to you. you guys know i do not shy away from any type of topic if you guys want to talk about black crime or whatever drop that in the comment too i don't care we have to have real discussions emotions need to get out of the way this is has to be america first Estimated 23,380 American citizens are serving in the Israeli military. Many are dual citizens who are already living in Israel. But I, first of all, dual citizenship is the biggest garbage I've ever heard in my life. I, I'm against dual citizenship. I don't know how you... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. You feel about it, Kurt? But I'm against it. How can I, you have it, loyalty to two different countries? Usually it's for like work reasons, like to be able to work somewhere. Like well, some countries have Canada when I used to why is Why is it all almost all the people, uh, anyway, a huge number of people who work for the FDA have dual citizenships with Israel. Did you know that? All right, over to this, back to this. But as of November 2023, about 10,000 people living in the United States had traveled to Israel to report for duty with the IDF after receiving draft notices. Did you know that? No, I didn't know you could um, get drafted in. That's uh, interesting. Uh, that 
is int- I would be mad. I would be mad. Let's just see a little bit more. Wow. Uh, according to responsible statecraft, 21 American citizens serving in the IDF have been killed in Gaza. And one was killed in northern Israel near the Lebanon border. Reichenthaler said his legislation will ensure we do everything possible to support these heroes who are standing with Israel fighting for freedom and slaughtering children and targeting systematically innocent people. 